Hey folks, we're in the Bradford family farm in our first acre of watermelons in Sumter, South Carolina. And I wanted to show you today the difference between male and female watermelon flowers. So here I found some male flowers. These are some of the first flowers of the season. And there's nothing underneath this flower, just a stem. That means it's a male. And you can see where the pollen would be inside this flower. Of course, the pollinators are gonna gather that and it'll end up getting dispersed to the female flowers, but that's what a male flower looks like. The males always show up before the females do. Over here I found, this is the first female flower I've found this year so far. And underneath that flower is a little potential watermelon. Every watermelon has about 400 seeds in it. Every seed has to be pollinated. Every seed that doesn't get pollinated affects the flavor and affects the formation of the fruit. So poorly pollinated fruits will be misshapen, maybe uh, gourd shaped, and they just don't seem to, to have, as, have as good flavor and quality as the ones that are well formed. So we put a lot of effort in encouraging healthy, strong pollinators out here. We grow buckwheat to build up our pollinator force way ahead of the bloom period on our watermelons. And so we've done that, and we hope now that these little guys will get, ladies rather, will get well pollinated. And, um, and we'll find out in a few weeks as these, as these watermelons shape up. You can also see when they're really small, they have these little faint stripes on them, and those stripes will disappear as they get older and mature. They'll end up being, you know, from this tiny little thing, 30, 40, maybe even 50 pound fruits, dark green skin, and beautiful red flesh loaded with a crop of seeds for the next year. Hope you all enjoyed it.